In this session, we're going to look more closely at equivalent fractions and to look at the fractional numbers and see what we can find out. Okay. So we looked at a lot of different fractions at equal a half. So if we thought about this as a cake, one half, this amount of cake, was the same as these. These were um, cut into smaller pieces, so there are more of them, but the amount of cake would be the same. And that word equivalent, it actually means equi, which means the same, and this kind of looks like that word value. So this word equivalent means equal or the same value, the same amount. So if we look at this equation, one half equals two fourths. Let's look at how the two numerators and the two denominators are related to each other. Do you notice anything? So if the numerator and the denominator are both doubled, the two fractions are equivalent. So we see if the one is doubled, you get two, the two is doubled, you get four, and there's your new fraction, two fourths, which is the same amount as one half. Okay. So we see a picture of what happens when the two fourths becomes four eighths. But here's a question. Why doesn't the fraction get bigger? Why do they stay the same amount? You know, if you took a counting number like five and you doubled it, and then you doubled it again, would you still have five? No, it would get much bigger. So why in fractions would that work? So it's not getting bigger. The reason it stays the same size is because doubling the denominator halves the size of the piece, and doubling the numerator doubles the number of pieces. So let's think about this in real life. So supposing your brownies are this small and your sister has brownies that are this big. So your brownies, wait a minute, your brownies are half the size of your sister's brownies. Is that fair? No. You're going to want to get twice as many pieces as your sister and then you'll have the same amount of brownie. So you're really not doubling it twice. What's really happening is that it's actually, you're multiplying this entire fraction by two halves. And two halves is equal to a whole. So what happens when you multiply any number by one? Does the number get any bigger? Nope. Multiply number by one, it always stays the same. So what's really going on here is that it's one half and you're multiplying that by two halves or one whole and you get a different fraction, but it's equivalent to the same.